Welcome everyone to the new Bitcoin and Blockchains Basics class offered at UVU, Utah Valley University, uh, hosted by and taught by myself, Charlene. And I'd like to introduce you to the course and what we're gonna be covering. It's gonna be a fabulous class. You're gonna learn about Bitcoin, blockchain, cryptocurrency, and the class is entitled uh, blockchain basics or Bitcoin basics. And the curriculum is going to cover the states of Bitcoin, the five states of Bitcoin, as uh, I put it, according to me, Charlene, the five states of Bitcoin as, as uh, in relation to the states of matter or the states of water, you've got liquid, solid, gas, gel, the different states of, of, of water. But for the Bitcoin, we're going to cover the different states of Bitcoin. Bitcoin as a technology, Bitcoin as a currency, Bitcoin as an asset, Bitcoin as the community supporting it, Bitcoin as a force for good or evil or as a weapon. And we're going to be covering each of those. Now, the first segment of the course, Bitcoin as uh, the technology, it's open source. It's electronic. We're going to cover the cryptography, the cryptography around Bitcoin and blockchain, the, its decentralized features, the network that's supporting it, uh, the computers, the servers, and the proof of work, the energy, the electricity used to support the network and used to generate new cryptocurrency coin. Then we're going to go into Bitcoin, the currency. Uh, a lot of you are probably familiar more with Bitcoin as a coin. Um, you're not too familiar with Bitcoin as a, a computer code that you can run, anyone can run, but you're here about the Bitcoin, the currency, the price of the Bitcoin, and people using Bitcoin to do transactions, to buy and sell, to trade. It's a peer-to-peer -peer currency. It's not controlled by a central bank or a group of, of people. It's everybody on the network that makes it, uh, creates the value of the Bitcoin as a currency. We're gonna talk about public keys and private keys and how you can hold your Bitcoin in a wallet or with an exchange where somebody holds it for you and you can log in and see it. We're gonna get into the ledger system, how Bitcoin is really a ledger of checks and balances, but it's immutable, meaning nobody can change the transactions or change the historical uh, data. It's all, once you've created it, once you've done it, once you've used it, it's there and the record is there forever. Also, we're gonna get into Bitcoin, the asset, being able to uh, hold the asset in your portfolio or have a bunch of different crypto coins in your wallet that you trade, that you buy and sell. You don't have to actually buy and sell, you can just hold it. It's a store of value. People are using Bitcoin as a collateral to borrow money, to buy other assets. Uh, we're talking about the appreciation of Bitcoin over, over the years and how people are able to trade that. Now, Bitcoin, the community, the people effect, the people supporting the network actually it creates a whole new value, the social value around that. It's called the network effect. When you tell somebody about Bitcoin or you send them a link, that creates the network effect and adds more consumers and more people involved. We're talking about the communication side, the marketing side of Bitcoin and the cryptocurrency. We now have celebrity endorsements of different crypto coins. We're gonna talk about that and how that affects the value of the coin. We're gonna talk about art, creating art as a crypto, in the cryptocurrency on the blockchain and the value that's called non-fungible tokens, NFTs, you hear about that, people selling their art, uh, digital art for a lot of money on the blockchain space in the metaverse. And then we're gonna get into the Bitcoin, the force, the weapon of Bitcoin, using it as a global uh, trajectory for change, how someone might be able to attack the Bitcoin network or maybe they cannot because it's so big and so vast and you wouldn't be able to take the whole network down. We're gonna get into the security side of Bitcoin and sovereignty between nations and nation states. And is Bitcoin going to 
unite the world or we're going to be continue to be fragmented and at war you know is bitcoin going to be the force for good or the force for evil so we're going to cover all of that with the new cryptocurrency class hosted and taught by yours truly charlene brown at utah valley university and i hope that each of you will take the time to take the class come on down and join us learn everything that you can and i'll see you there don't be late for class come prepare with to learn a lot to contribute and to listen and to to tell me your views ask questions we'll discuss anything you want to discuss about cryptocurrency so see you in the class and don't be late i am charlene uvu uh bitcoin basics class starting this semester see you in class